Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some good old Pokemon Nuzlocke. And we're gonna continue on our adventure of fighting a bunch of sailors, sailors, with uh, our boy over here, Nightmare. Of course, the plan is to get Nightmare super buff and strong. And also we'll return uh, to a regular thumbnails, you know? The last one I think was fantastic, but You'll not see it again unless, again, of course, I make that t-shirt one day. Yeah, that's, that's basically the end of it. But anyway, uh, remember that if you end up liking this video, leave a like, comment about your stuff, and let's move on. Let's continue on. All right, let's see. Hope everyone's out there having a good old day today. I'm having a pretty all right day myself. You know, feeling good about, you know, ex everything except for life. <laughs> Life, as always, is, is in a weird rough spot, as everyone is, and I hope everyone out there is doing the best they can out there. I'm definitely trying. It's tough, though. Let me tell you. The world really likes to screw you over. Hello, Growlithe. I don't know why I said Growlithe as if he was Byleth from Fire Emblem. Maybe I got Byleth in the brain. Insane in the Byleth brain. Come on. Confusion. Him with that confusion. I just came back from, not came back, but today uh, it's been, I recorded close to two hours worth of um, Master um, HMS for Dragalia. Yeah, I'm just completely out of it. Like it, I'm not the greatest Dragalia player, and that event took, uh, took a lot out of me, especially since I have close to four hours of recording that I have to go through to actually make a video off of it. Uh oh. Okay, thank god. Oh my god, Nightmare. I was about to be like, oh god, this is really how we lose Nightmare while I'm talking about Dragalia? Wow. Okay, so... Wow, really, now? Now we're not in a very good spot. Alright, I'm pulling you out, Nightmare. I didn't know these motherfuckers would have a bite. Here comes Kid Fisto. Here to save the day. I mean, he takes damage from Bite, but not as much as, um... Are you kidding me? Freaking CPUs, I hate them so much. I hate the CPU so much, fuck this. I cannot believe that that actually happened. Come on, give me a fucking break. If you use Roar again, you're a lying piece of shit computer. That's what I fucking thought. Keep your shit... Keep it fair, computer. Pop, pop! Die! Man, last thing I need in my mind right now is this motherfucker with his. All right, let me see if there's a trainer up above. No, no gentleman, as far as I'm concerned, is a goddamn cheat. Get my, get your mustache out of my damn face. All right, I'm gonna fall down, and go heal up Nightmare, cause Nightmare, this is his training arc in essence. Yum, yum. Down we go. Oh man, I would have been mighty pissed if that's how we lost Nightmare. After all the build-up, after finally being accepting of the fact that he's some kind of weird monster. That's how he goes down? Like a punk? Not fair. Man. Have I mentioned already that this is a very weird area for like training purposes? Because I have no idea. Usually when you're going through an area, there's a pretty good... Like, oh, the such and such trainers are coming forward, so I'll just use them over and over again, but maybe it's just because of our weird team comp, but it really doesn't feel like, like, what the hell do I fight in a lighthouse? Like, what, I, that guy had, like, um, that guy had water types, that this guy had a flying type, and then this guy had fucking a growlith. Yeah, he had, no, that, that guy didn't have birds, but you get what I'm saying. It's really weird. Like, all of Johto is really weirdly structured because... They know for a fact you're gonna have to go back to Kanto at some time, so they didn't address that those things, I guess. I don't know. Fight. See, like, what the hell did this girl do? Jasmine is the city gym leader. I mean to bring her back with me. Nobody better get in my way. So maybe because she's a part of the gym, she has steel types. I don't know. Last Connie, Connie, what do you have? You have a fucking Meryl. Why are you? <laughs> Why are you trying to get back? Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking argue with you, man. With you, 
Connie. With your fucking Meryl having ass. Oh. I'm in charge of the steel gym leader with my goddamn Meryl. How will- Oh, that might be bad actually, now that I think about it. Maybe after shit talking this Meryl, this Meryl's gonna kick our ass, never mind. Um, how bad would it be if you were a gym leader and you're second in command? Like, let's say you're you're Brock and you're like, okay, guy with Sandshrew. Um, your Sandshrew is not, in fact, a rock type like I want, but he is a ground type, and technically speaking, um, my Geodude is half rock, half ground, so he's accepted. And then he comes in the next day with a fucking Charmander and goes, I'm ready for a gym battle, Brock. And he goes like, no. First of all, switch out your damn Pokemon. Everyone here is expecting a rock type gym at the rock type gym leader. I made an exception for your Sandshrew. That's what this Jasmine's probably dealing with. And Jasmine's so meek that she's just like, I don't know, it's okay, use the marrow in the steel gym, who cares? Ridiculous. Nightmare. Thank you for killing that freaking- Last Connie, get out of here. Ack, my Pokemon. My not steel type Pokemon. Hello, Sailor. Sailors are both kind and strong. How about you? I'm apparently not right now very good. <laughs> I just- I did just kind of shit on that woman for having a Pokemon. Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Polly World. Holy boy. I always feel bad about... I've written... The design of Polly World to... Polly Raph. Polly Raph might be one of the most... Like, all they did was add uh, angry eyebrows <laughs> to his design and some muscles. It's probably one of the most laziest final evolutions out there. It kind of feels more like a Digimon. The more I look at Poliwhirl, like with Poliwhirl, and let me put it this way, I really do love all of them, but they do kind of feel like a Digimon. Before, I guess Digimon, Poliwhirl and Poliwag and all those other, Poliwrath, Politoed, not so much. Politoed feels like a Pokemon, but for some reason was given to them for whatever reason. Um, confusion. Man, it's cool though. It's cool. What I'm trying to say is, is that I have no beef with Poliwhirl, but I think he's been done dirty by the game. Like he gets a champion belt and an angry, an angry face. What kind of economy allows that? Pound. Don't you try and slap me, son. Take your pound. Yeah, 561. Nightmare's level 20. Damn right. Sailor Terrell. You are both kind and strong. I don't think I'm very kind, dude. You can make a, um, you can make a case for strong, though. I have not had issue in this game for a while now. This fucking Sailor Man. Wow! I mean, I am gonna fight him regardless, but... Let me use up my healing. I have like a potion. Ooh, you're finally out of the, the 50s. Unfortunately, you're still not in a perfect um, heal range. I wanted to battle Jasmine, but she's not up to it. How about you? Alright. You wanted to battle Gym Leader. What Pokemon are you rocking? You're three Pokemon, alright. Machop. He might actually stand a chance. Not against me, though. Not against me. Land of confusion. Very few, few people know this about Nightmare. Huge fan. Huge fan of uh, the work of... Wow! What the fuck? That dealt a lot of damage. A lot more than I thought. Phil Collins. He's, uh... I guess technically speaking, Phil Collins did not make Land of Confusion. It was his band that is, in essence, the... He just is the one singing a Genesis. There you go. Holy world. I just literally came back from kicking your ass, man. Why do you keep showing up in my presence? Tossing bubbles at me. You're more like... <laughs> you're like Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Where I think you're really cool, but in actuality, your actual fighting technique is lackluster at best but also maybe if he used a move that wasn't bubble he'd be kind of scarier i thought you know um soul rock had it rough but apparently all water pokemon that were not totodile got nerfed in this game oh, there's water gun i mean it's not gonna do much 
Yeah, see? Uh, yeah, it's type effective. Not, it's not type effective, it has um, typing on it, so it should be dealing way more damage. Why did you go back to Bubble? The Bubble did less. You dealt more damage with an ineffective move. Think about that. Think about your life. 504. Oh, I really hope that this doesn't one-shot Nightmare. Oh, thank god. I was about to be very pissed if that happened. Come on, die in one hit. Alright, I'm gonna actually use a Super Potion, because... That one time I got crit almost fucking killed me. And I'm not about to have that happen to him again. So what about... It's not that bad. What about tell 12 damage? See? That's bad. Of course, it did happen like two moves later, but whatever. Whatever. Nightmare gets his. Yeah, level 21. Sailor Ernest. From the Ernest Scared Stupid movies. I don't know why I'm so sassy right now. Ooh. It's Jasmine. Hello, lady. Pokemon always keep the sea lit. Yeah, she keeps lit. Oh, I can go to the pharmacy, dude. Oh, man, it's hall sick? You got it. I'm gonna do it. Let me rest in your bed, though. Girl, can I get that number, though? Yeah, sure. I really do like Jasmine, by the way. I think Jasmine's a fantastic. If there was gonna be one um, OTP pairing in here, it would be me and Jasmine. Hello. Me, the trainer, not me as a person. Um, though I wouldn't mind it. I would gladly date Jasmine if she would have me. This is a weird thing to start talking about. But <laughs> I have no problem with her. I think she's fantastic. A lot of people actually have a problem with, um, I guess, the super meek girl as a character. And I can understand it, because it comes from, I guess, um, ideas that the perfect woman is kind of one that you want to protect. And it comes from a kind of, like, mm, kind of a masculine approach to characters and a very, like, um, what's the right word? Like, the idea is that, like, all men just want something that, um, they can protect and feel strong about, but in actuality, I just get, like, both. Sometimes I just like a very quiet girl. That's nothing against. Sometimes I also like a loud girl, but for the most part, I, I like someone quiet, because I'm also quiet in real life. So we can be quiet together and not do anything, I guess. What do you prefer in a woman? <laughs> if you're watching. I would love to hear it. Um, it's something, I guess that's not something I really think about all that often. You don't think about attraction. You know what I'm saying? You just, you know, you are attracted to whoever you're attracted to and you just, it's better to just leave it that way. And of course, unfortunately, some people have terrible attractions, but it's neither here nor there, really. What I do know is what I like in a lady. That's about it. Very simple. This Spearow looks high as shit, by the way. What do you like in a women, Spearow? You're dead. You can't answer me. It's okay. You don't have to like women. Oops, they crash. <laughs> Dude, that's your Pokemon. Show some goddamn respect. Yes. Two balls. What's TM34? Is that Earthquake? Nah, it's Swagger. It's a bullshit move. Well, it's not bullshit when it actually hits. When it when everything works out for you. Ooh, Shadow Ball. Can I teach someone Shadow Ball? No, not yet. Alright, time to get the hell out of here. Did I fight you? The answer is no. Alright, so next. Jasmine be worried sick about her Pokemon. She don't even be smiling. I can make her smile with my love. And our... What's the word I was looking for? Neutral? Natural agreement that we should take care of Sahal, I guess? What I'm saying is that I need Sahal to be my buddy. And I also needed that Krabby to not know Crabhammer. 
Because if it did, it would have been game over in one hit. There we go. Um, I need him to put in a good word for me. He's currently sick, being attended to by Jasmine. I'm fine with that. Obviously, you know, Zahal's uh, health is of utmost importance to me. Um, but also, I think he should be a brother and hook me up, you know. I'm a good guy. I do good things. I've treated Nightmare with the most respect, even though I think he's a creep. Constantly hypnosising and pounding everything he sees. Uh, but I accept him for who he is, which is a creepy tape tapir monster. Or I think that he's based on the Baku, actually. The uh, Please don't die from this bubble beam nightmare. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I have to look at your stats after this, because for some reason I keep thinking everything is going to one-shot nightmare and then nothing stops nightmare. <laughs> Let me just use some good old confusion. The bite came close. Uh, meaning bite was the closest thing to dealing actual damage to him. Oh wait, can Nightmare learn Shadow Ball? That'd be a dope-ass move to have. You can use it against fellow um, Psychic types. Grr, I be Sailor Kent. No, I can't even- I stole that man's smile! I'm like Shawn Michaels, I'm stealing smiles left and right. Um, I was gonna look at his stats. That's what I was gonna do. Ooh, nightmare. Oh, his special defense is fucking 50. <laughs> That's why? Okay, no wonder you don't fucking take any damage from special attacks. Is you, These bubbles are literally useless to you, my boy. That's a crazy ass special defense. Oh, it's her. Okay. Actually, I shouldn't have treated Jasmine's friend like shit if I planned on... You know what? I can apologize to her later. Say that I didn't know that she was friends with someone I wanted to hook up with. And we can settle our... squash our beef later. Alright, that's today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of a weird one, but... Hey, you never know. Maybe some... It was also a really long one because I wanted to make sure that this tower was defeat. Uh, so we can move on to the next part, which is going overseas and taking over everything. I also think I can technically catch a Pokemon here, but you know what? Save it for the next episode. So again, I'm Moki, and if you'd enjoy this, remember to leave a like. It makes me feel happy, and it also helps out my channel if I see likes. Especially for something like this that, I mean, deals good. It, it does good enough for my channel, but I'm clearly doing this out of, one, my love for it, and two, because people enjoy it. So until next time, everyone, have a good day, and may your dreams not be nightmares.